This, uh, there's actually, we've only had 12 mil of rain and it's uh, just freshened job up. There's quite a bit of fresh grass coming through. So I don't think these need any air now. They're in good, good shape to be fair. Um, there's an outpour about them. I mean, I don't know if it's all new to me, this carving, but I don't think they need to be very fit before carving, do they? Because all you're doing is making a big calf. I mean, they want some good grub after carving, I would say, so they produce a lot of milk, you know, some good good quality silage and, uh, 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 well, I don't know. And I don't really know, to be honest. It's all new to me, this carving. We've fattened bloody hundreds of cattle over years, but, well, thousands of cattle over years, but I think most we've ever had on this farm at one go, probably before my time, or be very, very young. Uh, Dad used to bring them out of Ireland and a lot of Herefords actually and we'd have about 500 on so but now now 120 130 a year will do so um and price of barley i don't know it's a little bit whew, do you make any money i don't know i know beef jobs fairly good but just take a bit of feeding don't they but yeah these a lot i mean these have had no but this grass and they're in good shape to be fair I mean, you lick. He's turning into a, quite a character as well. He's, uh, he's he's just thickening out a bit now. I just, I don't know, I ain't got a stick today, but I usually bring a stick. I don't, I don't know, I just won't trust him 100%. He's one of them, he's that docile that he could turn on you, and a couple of times, He's just dipped his head like that, and you think, ooh, yeah, I won't trust you 100%. Just waiting for a load of concrete coming, and he's just having a round in wheat. That's the first wheat we've cut this time. Rotten rope it is. In fact, it shocked me when we tested it. Um, I hope he gets down here and he can't get round, which would be a waste of diesel going back on himself, but it means it's heavy, doesn't it? He's off too fast for it to be uh, real heavy, to be honest. It's not so bonny on here, there's a fair bit of rubbish, a lot of fat end come. Suffered a little bit with eelworm uh, in winter. Maybe a bit of frost lift as well, but the rest of it feels pretty good, but small grain. Yeah, drought has a tough effect. I wouldn't say bad. I thought his lights would be on me now though, but there was a few patches round outside. It was drilled very, very wet, to be fair. So, I mean, very wet. Shouldn't have been drilled. We shouldn't have been in field with drill. It was one of them where, do I don't I? And by the time you thought about it, it was done. There's Phil. There's Phil. There's Phil in combine, innit? Yeah. You're off for a ride, aren't you? Who's that in Berlin? Ollie. Ollie's Berlin, isn't he? Yeah. So I'll go today. We're corn carting, aren't we? We're taking corn to the store, aren't we? Yeah. And before you start wowing, she's got her belt on. And she's probably safer in here than uh, she is looking for us in the yard. Well, we'll drop him a trailer here. Do you want to go for a ride with Phil then? She gives another meaning to cute and very intelligent and very hard and all. She's as hard as nails. I, I've only seen her cry once. She's five year old. She just don't cry. She, she can she can fall off that trailer, hit deck, and she don't cry. I think he's full. I think he's uh, storing a bit on cab roof. We're away. There's two different varieties in this field. This is Saki at the top, 
and Skyfall at the bottom and I've just asked Phil which is uh, he thinks is done better and he thinks the Skyfall so which surprises me really um, so yeah I don't think it's doing so bad way. having a bit of a fly about with us. I love to see him. tempting fit bragging to me that in, he hadn't had a knot problem in uh, in uh, straw and uh, he's set up on top of it now playing with knots at so that uh, he's back going again Just riding shotgun with 60 fingers because it's juiced his bailer anyway. I've drove, I've been watching him, he's done about four or five, uh, three banders. And um, yeah, just a bit of lack of experience. Very good operator, like, but just a bit of lack of experience. He never retied the bottom, he just kept retying the top of the. Because uh, there's, on an Eston bailer, this band comes in from the top and the bottom. And he thought the top, the bottom was good, but it won't. And it come out of the tension at all, so there was no tension on the band. So, hey, no, so next time now, done it? We've explained it. And uh, no, so next time. So, it's done pretty good this week, actually. You know, very, very good. There's been quite a lot of come off this. Uh, there she goes again. And then lollipops tell us that everything's in order. Like if one springs up, we've got a loose fan. So yeah, he knows now for next time, doesn't he? So right, I'll get out of his way. We've got Sue 
Seward's to come back. Well, well, Class Eastern. I call it Seward's. Um, just a little bit, well, now to summit to be fair, it's now for me. Uh, but just Matt from Seward's has come for a, a ride with him and just put his uh, mind at rest. I mean, they're good, very, very good to us. It's Class Eastern. Um, brilliant firm, best firm we deal with, I think. Oh, them and Screwers and all. Uh, two good firms, lovely to our area. 